Hi, today I'm going to make Exora, a really beautiful cluster of flowers. Materials required are crepe paper in green, red or any other color which you like, thick fire, thin wire, this is yellow acrylic paint and this is green floral tape. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is the stencil for the bud. This is 1 by 1 inch square. Cut about 20 to 25 pieces. This is for the petal. This is 2 centimeters by 1.5. Cut again 20 to 25 pieces. They both should have about the same number of pieces. This is of the leaf. This is 12 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Cut as many as you like. For the bud, First cut a piece of thin wire, this is about 5 cm long. Now take this tiny square, stretch it, apply glue on it. And then just put it on the wire. Pull down the edges and just twist the ends. So you get a shape like this. Now I've cut a thin strip about half a centimeter wide and as long as needed. So just stretch it. So whichever color flower you make, uh, this thin strip would be of the same color. So if you're making peach color flower, it will be peach or yellow or orange, whichever. Just wind it down like this. So this is the bud of the flower. For the flower, cut another small piece of thin wire. This is about 4 centimeters long. Take the square, the piece, sorry, and just stretch it. Fold it in half and then half again. Forming a square. So now hold the point which is which has got the corner on it and not the loose sides and just cut out a petal shape. leaving a little bit at the center so don't cut the entire thing now open it out so you get this cross shaped flower So now take the thin wire and the strip which we used earlier, stretched it, apply glue on it, and then wind it on this wire first. Then just apply glue on the tip of the wire and put it in the center of the flower. So it sticks, becomes like this. Now take the yellow acrylic paint, just a little, very tiny amount, and just put dabs on each corner of the petal. Just a small dab. like so. Now just leave it. Now this is how it will look after it's dried. So I have to make a bunch like this which has you know which has been joined together the bud and the flower. 
Now first cut a piece of thin wire. This is about 6 to 7 centimeters long. And take some green tape. So first just take the flower on the bud. Hold them at the same level at the base so that the bud sticks out from above the flower. Just wind the tape once at the base and take this thin wire, put that and this bunch that I had made earlier of a petal and flower, sorry of the bud and the flower and put it at the same height and then just wind the tape. like this, so just open out the bud and the glue hadn't dried so the flower just fell off Stick it. like this so I've made others and you need quite a few bunches in the same way for the leaf First cut a thin piece of thin wire, this is again 12 and a half, 12, 12 and a half centimeter long. Take some green floral tape. Take the leaf, first just score the leaf actually, so just score the leaf in the center you have and then the side veins. Now just apply glue. And stick this wire on it. Now to put the branch together, so first take a long piece of the green floral tape. Stretch it and take a thick wire. So first I am going to put all these bunches together and at the same height on top. So make quite a few of them because it looks nice, a big bunch like this first just wind the tape on the base leaving a gap of about one inch from the end of the wire of the flowers so just wind it together it becomes easier and then just insert the thick wire in between And then wind the tape, attach a leaf, so the leaf will not have any uh, stem, so just attach it very close to the main stem. And they would be opposite to each other, so attach one and then attach the 
second one and leave a gap of about 2 inches that's the second pair so you can attach more uh, branches of flowers or leaves Just open out the leaves. And then open out the flowers a bit. It will be easier with scissors, so just pull it out like this. And this is how the branch would look.